Hello, this is the first video for analytical and logical reasoning to crack bad aptitude part or GRE or any other exam containing aptitude. These video series will contain series of solved questions to help you better prepare for any competitive exams. Let's move to the first question. The following table gives the production capacity of the five refineries P, Q, R, S and T of the oil company SPCL. The demand at the company's four outlets A, B, C and D and the transportation cost involved in transporting the oil from different refineries to different outlets. So here are the refineries that is PQRST and in the bracket their production capacity in kiloliters per day are written. Again here are the outlet ABCD and their demand in kiloliters per day have been mentioned and these values are the transportation cost to these outlets from these refineries in rupees per kiloliter. Please have a look uh, at this table so, uh, because we will be needing it in the question. Let's move on. In the above table, the number given in the brackets alongside each refinery gives the production capacity in kiloliters per day of that refinery and the number given in the brackets alongside each outlet. The number given in the cell corresponding to a refinery and an outlet gives the transportation cost in rupees per kiloliter incurred for transporting oil from that refinery to that outlet. For example, the production capacity of refinery P is 30 kiloliters per day and the demand at outlet A is 40 kiloliters per day and the cost of transporting 1 kiloliter of oil from refinery P to outlet P to outlet A is rupees 500. Assume that the company currently operates only the refineries and the outlets mentioned above uh, and that the production at the refinery on any day is transported to the outlets such that the demand at all the outlets is met. So all the production done in a day is transported to the outlets. So here we can see that the total production is equal to total outlet demand. Here is the first question. The daily transportation cost of oil to all the outlets outlet is at least. So here we have to find the minimum transportation cost. So let's get back to the table and we have to find what is the minimum transportation cost that we are getting. Now we will start with D. D has a demand for 20 kiloliters per day and the lowest cost is incurred when T, T's production is supplied to D. So T supplies 10 kiloliters and fulfill half of D's demand. So here half of the demand is fulfilled at 100 rupees per kiloliter after that 10 liters uh, 10 kiloliters is still left again Q supplies to D at again the same price that is 100 kiloliters per day 100 uh, 100 100 rupees per kiloliter so the demand of D that is 20 kiloliters is ma uh, met by Q and T now the demand of C is 10 kiloliters per day. Again the minimum cost is 400 rupees per kiloliter which is given by Q and S. But Q has already utilized its uh, capacity in D so we will switch to S. 
so S is giving half of its uh, production to C at 400 rupees per kiloliter so C's demand is met by S now we come to B's demand B's demand is 30 uh, kiloliters per day and the minimum is 300 rupees per kiloliter which is given by P S and T here all 30 kiloliters demand can be fulfilled by P at the cheapest rate of 300 rupees per kiloliter so P fulfills the demand of B now only A is left and A has a demand of 40 kiloliters now P has fulfilled all the capacity similarly Q and T have fulfilled all the capacity so we are left with R which is 30 kiloliters and S has half of its capacity left that is 10 kiloliters per 10 kiloliters these two meets the demand of A at 300 and 200 rupees respectively so here we get the minimum cost of all the transportation so these are the calculation T supplies 10 kiloliter to D Q supplies 10 kiloliter to D P supplied 30 kiloliter to B S supplies 10 kiloliter to A R supplies 30 kiloliter to A and S supply 10 kiloliter to C so the total cost that we are getting is rupees 26,000 this gives us choice 2 so choice 2 rupees 26,000 is our answer let's move on to the second question if due to a disruption in the supply lines to some of the outlets refinery P can supply oil to only outlets A and C then the daily cost of the transportation of oil to A and C of oil to all the outlets is at least so now P can supply only to A and C so what will be the minimum cost incurred let's get back to the table here and we have to remember that P can now only supply to either A or C and we have to keep the cost minimum here C's demand is 10 kiloliters per day which will be met by P at 600 rupees rest 20 kiloliters capacity will be utilized by A at 500 rupees so A will be left still left with 20 kiloliters demand now the rest demands will be fulfilled at minimum rates so D's demand will be again fulfilled by uh, Q and T at 100 rupees C's demand has been fulfilled B's demand of 30 kiloliters will be fulfilled at not by S which is transportation cost is 300 rupees per kiloliter because S 20 liters capacity will, uh, will be utilized by A at 200 rupees per kiloliter since we have to keep the cost minimum so B's demand will be fulfilled by R at 400 rupees per kiloliter so here are the calculation P will transport the oil to C 10 kiloliters P will supply to A 20 kiloliters Q will supply to D 10 kiloliters T will supply to D 10 kiloliters R will supply to B 30 kiloliters and S will supply to A 20 kiloliters thus the total that comes out to be is rupees 34,000 that is choice 4 
So our answer is four rupees thirty four thousand. Let's move on to the third question. Currently the daily cost of transportation of oil to all the outlets is the least possible. The question is the daily cost of transportation to all the outlets would increase by the maximum amount if there is a disruption in the supply line connecting first PNB, second SND, third QNC, fourth TNB. Now in the first question we had already find out what will be the cheapest supply routes and uh, the second option, third option and fourth option can be ruled out as they were weren't the minimum supply route, cheapest supply route and the only cheapest supply route was P and B. So if this get disrupted, so the cost of transportation would increase by maximum amount. So first is our answer. So we have choice 1 as our answer as other options get straight away cleared. Here is the cheapest routes that we had fi uh, found out in the first question and the f four options given in the third question were SND, there is no SND here, QNC, again there is no QNC here TNB, again there is no TNB here and last PNB. This was the one of the cheapest route so the supply will hit, get hit if this route will get dis, uh, disturbed. Let's move on to the fourth question. If the company plans to decrease the daily cost of transportation of oil to all the outlets by doubling the production capacity of exactly one of the refineries, which refinery should it select so as to reduce the transportation cost by the maximum amount? Now we will get back to the table here. Here we will see the outlets receive most of the cheapest supplies from S. Here we can see that the transportation cost from refinery S to all other outlets are minimum as compared to other refineries. So we have to double the capacity of S to reduce the transportation cost. So our answer is S. So I end here and there would be many more such videos to better prepare you for aptitude. Thank you.